Morning folks, quite a, an improved day in London, or South London. A bit of sun, but mainly overcast, but it's quite a bit warmer than the minus one it was yesterday. It's, uh, I know that's uh, warm for some folk this time of year, but uh, it's six degrees at the moment, going to about eight, and a bit warmer this morning, in the morning. So we'll be doing our bike ride along the Wandle. Uh, right, I, I was asked on, on YouTube a comment, uh, someone who's been on my YouTube for quite a while now, I think I'm Glenn Chris was the username, um, would I do more acrylic abstracts? Well, the, 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 the nearest I really get these days to abstracts is, is rough, rough painting, creating an impression. That's about the best I can do. I've done a lot of um, abstracts, acrylics and oils, um, but with nothing in my mind, just splashing the paint about, make, trying to make something quite attractive. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure whether that's true abstraction or you have to plan abstraction. And if you have to plan an abstraction, is it abstraction? I don't know. You tell me. But my, my landscape oils, uh, I try to make them a bit rough. So I'll, I'll do something here, I'll do a snow scene if I can. Um, I'll just use cadmium red, ultramarine and yellow, cadmium yellow pale. I'm using this uh, little tube up that I brought a long time ago. Makes wonderful greens, but we don't really want green, so I'll, I'll add some red ochre to it probably. So very simple, limited palette. Keep it simple, stupid. That's my motto. Uh, right, the, the blue is still, I think, is still a little bit usable. Yeah, just about. So we'll have a. a, a, a I'll use some paints as well. Why not? We don't have to be to torture ourselves, do we? It's just three colours. But I, I want. I want a sky that is grey, mid-grey, mid-tone grey with with some sun breaking through or moon or moon, moony night. But then you have to sort of do aurora around the uh, around the thing so I don't really want to do that. If the sun gets a bit of a nuisance coming through the window I'll uh, draw the blind and put the light on. Okay here we go so let's uh, knock out a sky. All right, plenty of oil, a bit of dry oil. Cool. That, that oil has gone a little bit uh, tacky. Okay, bit of bit of blue, bit of red, plenty of oil. Because I'm, I'm using uh, the cheap Fabriano paper. It's great for for this, and uh, there's enough um, linen content in the in the in the paper itself is about 30%, 30% 30% 30% um, rag content, linen. And now the, the paper will soak up that oil. Which is great. A bit of red to that and a bit of white. I want a dark sky to counter change the uh, sun or the moon or whatever. I'm. Let's, uh, let's add some linseed oil to that. So I'm not worried about whether, whether it dry, dries in a few hours or days. It will dry quicker because it's on paper. Which as I say will suck the oil out of the paint. It means you can get a sort of a pastel effect. So let's uh, crack on with that. There's a bit of light red in with that as well, a bit of white. A bit light as we come to the horizon. Very low horizon. We can add some stuff to that. Dawn, 
snowy dawn. I'm running out of titles folks after doing about 3,000 of these. Uh, okay, so I'll just darken that horizon a little bit. Well, I need it with a, with a sky. Uh, clean the brush. Let's get a get a bit of bit of rough snow on now. white snow on this. Okay, now, uh, the sun or moon, whatever we want, I don't know yet. Let's have a bit of a ochre in there. Right, uh, that's my abstracty bit. A little bit of a glow there, that's a touch of lemon, touch of cat yellow. You can put a bit of a, a cap in, in some paint and do that way if you like. So yeah, let's put a bit of a silhouette. So, so where's my silhouette? There's my little brush. Nice brush there. So I'll use a bit of a red, bit of blue, bit of yellow, loads of blue, and Bleach the trees out a little bit, I think, on, on, under here. I'm guessing this. shadow under that tip there. Not sure about that but a bit of an undulating uh, horizon.
Get some of that dark back in here. So I could a such a yellow. Just to get some highlights. Put some uh, put in some snow in there, I think dark snow. We need to break up that horizon a bit too uh, solid. So let's get a bigger one in here. Okay, well that's a bit of a start isn't it, let's uh, do some rough stuff now. Uh, Some snow over that. Get a bit of light on there now on the uh, twiggies or the grasses, shall I say. Get some of that that's a yellowy glow. I've never done anything like this before. Okay. I've got a disguise on that. I've got a bit too regular with the trees, distant trees. But let's get in some uh, some mauve grass. Oh, not mauve, because snow, mauve snow. The snow is not white. Well, it is, but 
but we want to show it the shadow. some of those uh, colours in there. See how easy you can drag over when you're paper, uh, using paper. Uh, I don't know if there's much more I want to do with this. Let's see what it looks like. Let's change the screen. So we've got a nice glow coming through there now which was, which was the uh, exercise. Sounds out. Just catching. Oh well. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to going to close the window. Not the window. The blind. Listen to the radio in my headphones or head earpieces. And I quite often forget to take them off. And chaos in shoes when I have to put I won't put the lights on. There's plenty of light here really. It's gone to quite a bright day now. I forgot to bring my bottle. I just wonder if if I could get some naff clouds going across with those sort of colours. Just to add to that. It's a bright day, so no moon outside, moonlit sky. Just catching a little bit of cloud. Get that bright underneath. Okay. Oh, the sun's still shining through the window. I'll pull the down a little bit more. Hopefully we won't have any shadow on the. Uh, I'm gonna put it in a, in a mount. So I'm gonna put it in a mount. I can't think of an easier way to do a to a moonlit sky, but it's it's an abstract because I didn't think about it. I just made it up, went along. But there's a, a wealth of uh, repertoire in my what's left in my brain that I can call on. That's a, so there we are. That's all abstract, isn't it? I hope you like it. Uh, let's just come out of it, that's better. So the moon is, is just off centre. I don't want it right in the middle. Very easy to do. But I wanted it coming through here to show that the brilliance in the snow, but I think I could probably go a bit more brilliant in there. 
I won't brush my ears in that one. Don't think we brush our ears in that one, are they? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, must be, must have been using that one. I want to just get a little bit of a uh, try a knife. And I just get a, some highlight. Well, that'll do. I can, you, the trouble is, you can fiddle and fuss these things to, to bits. Well, that's as abstract as I think I'm going to get today. I'll get this one uploaded. I quite like it. So, what I've done, I've just put a bit of highlight on the top of these clumps of trees here. Uh, I don't want to paint it. Well, I could do a bit of snow, I suppose, in there. A bit of snow being sort of blue. No, there's, there's a very little white in this picture. Uh, uh, I was going to say, a bit of blue. I don't know. A bit lighter than that. Try to show some snow in the uh, lodged in the branches. Well, all helps. All those just that little bit of what we say, je ne sais quoi. Or je ne sais quoi. Oh, just some snow gathered. Right, before we muck it up, let's leave it there. I'll take a photograph of it, folks. Okay, today's painting. Didn't take long, did it? Alright, okay. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.